Hey guys, GearKid60 here, and right now I'm going to be doing a review on the Kershaw ET. The ET stands for external toggle. Uh, let me try opening the knife, turn off the safety here. It stands for external toggle, as you can see in the bottom of the tang of the knife. Uh, ET. It was made by, designed by G&G Hawk, um, made in June of 08, model 1900. Uh, Kai, I believe, which is the parent company of Kershaw Knives and made in the USA. As you can see, it has a quite an interesting handle and quite an interesting opening mechanism. Um, this is one of those knives where I would consider it as just um, light duty use um, and showing off as a collectible. As the collectability, it comes from its interesting opening mechanism, which is this toggle right here, hence the name external toggle. And it's numerous ways of opening it. I kind of did that thing sloppy like the spider coat method of Spidey Drop or the regular method such as that. Me personally, I do not like opening the knife through the standard way, through the thumb stud. As you can see, the handle, the handle moves along with the knife as you open it. And it's just awkward. I can just picture myself trying to open it like that and if it somehow slips, it can slip on your fingers and cut you. So I stay away from the blade path as much as possible. And another way is such as that. As you can see, it's also it's not, it's kind of sometimes finicky even though I cleaned, I um, oiled up the joints around the, the blade itself. So definitely I would not uh, classify this as for like EMTs or if you want to be like you know emergency type of work I would not recommend this particular knife and due to the mechanisms as you can see all of these rotating parts moving back and forth those are just more points of failure as part of the fit and finish there is no blade play it is a it is pretty damn solid considering the fact this is a, of all the rotating parts, which is pretty sweet precision processing from um, from Kershaw knives. It weighs 106 grams, uh, 0.234 pounds, 3.75 ounces, which is which basically means it's not really a lightweight folder. Uh, this particular knife I bought for 40 bucks from, what's the name of it, from Craigslist. Unfortunately, this is the, this is one of those knives since because of its interesting mechanism, there's like a, a bunch of ways to open it. And Kershaw actually had a DVD on all the ways you could open it. Unfortunately, he didn't have it. And uh, what's the name of it, um, neither did he have the box, he just had the knife itself. You can be able to carry it two ways, this particular carabiner or you have this pocket clip over here, this little stub which I can be able to show on my pants, how it shorts, how it rides in the pocket. It's really deep, deep carry. It almost looks like a pen because of this thing sticking out. All in all, it's a pretty neat knife. Um, it's, uh, it's an interesting folder, which can sure get some quite interesting discussions. It also has a safety at the back, which, I, which is my preferred method of carry, because I just don't trust it. Um, this particular like, type of handle, as I said, like, moves around with a knife. If you keep it inside your pocket, something will move it, and it might actually just pop open. Because of the, if you put it in your pocket, it's like an oversized uh, clip that can catch onto anything inside your pocket and may open and you may cut yourself. So this is one of those knives where I would recommend putting it on, turning on the safety, even though it's not an auto. Um, if I go uh, camping or hiking or off-roading, I prefer to keep this one on the outside, and I'm putting and I hook it onto my backpack, and it's quite very quite secure. So this is do a little last overview around the knife. Yes, and keep in mind there's like many more failure points due to all the joints and all the moving parts in this particular knife. 
if I missed anything. Uh, just, uh, you know, standard protocol. If I missed anything, just put me down an email, I mean a comment on the bottom, and I'll try fixing it. Or if you have any questions, I'll try answering it. Thank you very much. Gear Kid 660.